Part 2. Superman has suffered greatly at the hands of his former friend and partner, Batman. But is it possible that even this could make the Man of Steel become cruel and vengeful? You're in for a shock when the tables are suddenly turned and Batman becomes the victim of the revenge of Superman. Move, Batman! Keep breaking those rocks or you'll feel a full charge of the Force Ray. You're going to suffer as you made me suffer. This ball and chain is weighing me down. Have mercy, Superman. As Superman, trapped, struggles vainly. We'll dig you out, Superman. Thanks. You're real friends. Moments later. Since they're your friends, Superman, you won't mind doing all their work on the rock pile as well as your own. Get busy. But he can't possibly do it all. At least let us split some of the rock for him. You heard your orders. Sit there and watch the great Superman who's so strong can easily do it all. As Superman toils with waning strength, only my weak remaining supervision is of any help. With my X-ray vision, I can see where the rocks are cracked and split them more easily. But I can't go on much longer. Finally, the sun sets on an exhausted Superman. Back to your cells, march. No lagging, Superman. You didn't like bread and water, Superman, remember? So you get none until you beg for it. I'll never beg you for anything, Batman, but my time will come. Superman, take this water while he's not looking. But suddenly, ouch! Now both of you can go thirsty tonight. <laughs> Batman will slave drive us to death if this goes on. If I only had my superpowers again. Hmm. Even on this world of a red sun, there may be a way. That night, as an evilly altered Batman gloats in the Bard Warden's office. Tomorrow. Superman will be even weaker from lack of food and water, and I'll show him what real discipline means. I'll... But there's someone outside my door. Superman, you broke the metal bar across the door. How could you do that? Or get out of your cell? I got my superpowers back, Batman, and now for a reckoning with you. You're through with that force ray, Batman. I don't believe you. You couldn't have superpowers now that the sun of this world shines with red rays. But you must have super strength for I feel helpless, numb, cold in your grasp, but how, how? I'll only shut off his breathing with this wrestling hold long enough to make him unconscious. I've got plans for Batman. Next morning. It's my turn to give the orders now, Batman. March. You can't blame Superman for being so vengeful after what he suffered. In the quarry, under the red sun rays. But I can't work on this steep cliff with the ball and chain dragging me down. Either work or feel the force ray. I don't care which. We don't blame you for wanting revenge after the way he treated you, but this is going too far. He made me suffer, and he's going to suffer in return. He works up there all day. And when the terrible day's task ends, I wrecked the cell door locks when I escaped. But I guess this bigger metal ball I made for your chain will keep you from running away. Ha <laughs> ha! I can't even budge it. 
He did get his superpowers back, or he couldn't have lifted this colossal weight. Hidden in a crack in the masonry wall nearby, a monitor eye has watched, and that monitor has transmitted all that it has seen and heard across space. On the planet Vor, alien eyes have watched through the monitor. Your device to remove Superman's powers has failed, Waraj. He has his powers again. It's impossible, Your Majesty. He could not have superpowers on a world with a red sun. I studied him like the others before setting this trap. How can we Vorians carry out our planned conquest of many worlds unless the powerful heroes of those worlds are safely imprisoned? I'll go at once with my assistant to the prison planet, Your Majesty, and make sure those prisoners don't escape that world. And as two alien scientists prepare to depart. The preparations for galactic conquest are ready, but this may delay it. And my plan went so well. Till now, our force spheres brought the tricked heroes to the prison. Batman was super hypnotized to be their ruthless warden, and mighty Superman was stripped of his powers. How could he regain them? When the small Vorian spaceship lands on the prison planet, I was a faithful warden of the prison here until Superman turned the tables on me. Please, cut off this chain. I'll cut the chain, but where's Superman? There he is, flying, as he and the other former prisoners make me toil here. I'm exhausted, can't stand. Remain here, and we'll get these escaped prisoners under control. Soon. There he comes, Waraj. Our force rays will have no chance against his superpowers. I still say he can't have superpowers in this red sunlight. He's faked them somehow. I'm going to call his bluff. He recoils from the force ray in pain. He's not invulnerable. He was bluffing. Don't. Don't use that ray on me. It's too agonizing. Tell me how you fake the regaining of your superpowers or the lash will fall on you again. I'll tell. Don't use that thing. It was an attempt on my part to bluff everyone into thinking I was super again. I had only weak super breath and super vision, but I planned to use my fellow prisoner's powers to pretend I had superpowers. But I can't generate any electric power, Superman. As I told you, my dynamo power is short-circuited by the metal vapors in this world's atmosphere. Hmm, such heavy metal vapors would not be in the higher atmosphere. I'll use super breath to draw down pure air from the stratosphere. My drawing down pure, cold, stratosphere air gave Electric Man a chance to use his unique power. Look, I'm generating terrific current. It's burning out all the electric cell door locks. Now I'll go after Warden Batman and convince him I've my superpowers back. The flame and the freezer can help me. My remaining heat vision warmed the chilled flame enough to use his power of melting anything. He's melting the metal bar inside the door. In a moment, it will be so weak, I'll be able to burst through it, and it will see my did so by my super strength. Before bursting in, I use super breath again to draw down more icy stratosphere air so that the freezer outside the little window could use his power. My power to freeze will make Batman feel weak, numb, frozen, 
so that Superman's normal strength will seem super strong to him. To carry out the bluff, I later had Balloon Man wear my cloak so it would seem I was flying. The pure air Superman drew down for me made it possible to use my power of superinflation, which the metallic vapors had prevented. I must try to look like Superman flying. But how could you lift that giant metal ball you put on Batman's chain? Answer, or I'll use the lash. I have to confess, that big metal ball was a fake I made. It's hollow and weighs only a few pounds. But through our monitor, we saw that Batman couldn't budge the giant metal ball. That means that Batman, by that time, was also faking. Then he must be in league with Superman, and we left him there by our spaceship. Quick, back to the ship. But in the meantime, Batman has acted minutes before. I've got to carry out my part of the plan while those aliens are occupied with Superman. Their spaceship is the only chance. Batman. After swift study of the controls, sets them so the ship takes off. I set its course carefully. If I erred, we won't get another chance. The little ship flies off on a collision course toward the sun ray filter. And with the alien sun ray filter destroyed, Batman used our ship to destroy the sky filter. Now in yellow sunlight, Superman has all his powers again. But Batman was super hypnotized to be evil. Yes, but when I had rendered him unconscious, I built and used a super de-hypnotizing device of ancient Kryptonian science on him. As he came to... You will become yourself again, Batman. Kind, brave, the champion of law. Why, what happened to me? I had a dream. I dreamt I was vicious and cruel, even to you. But I'm awake now. And then Batman and I made our plans. By X-ray vision, I discovered a hidden monitor in the prison by which whoever set this trap watches. If I pretend I regain superpowers and slave drive you, the plotters will come to see what went wrong with their trap. And we can use their ship to destroy their sun filter. Pour on the cruel treatment. I can take it. I'll take those rays, which can't hurt me now. Then I'm flying to your world, and I'll smash all your preparations for galactic conquest. We tricked them here, but now we're out tricked. Our great conquest will never take place. Later, after he has destroyed the ships and arms of Vor, Superman returns and... Can you others hear my radio? The spacesuit Superman made work fine. He'll take us each back to his own world. And he left those alien plotters here on the prison world. Marooned here. They're the prisoners now. 